But we're going to move over and start talking about your nation, Portugal. Um, because so far, Hungary, it was a 3-0 win against them and then Portugal a 4-2 loss, uh, sorry, against Germany. But that was an interesting game, really, wasn't it? For a lot of different reasons because of what we saw. Obviously, Ronaldo doing Ronaldo things. What did you think of that overall game and, and the way it panned out against Germany? I think we were lucky to lose only 4-2. <laughs> um, they were much better than they were much better than us. Uh, tactically, they create a problem that um, we couldn't resolve. They played the whole game using the same strategy of uh, attracting Portugal to the Portuguese left side and then quick changes of uh, of direction of the game to the opposite side where uh, Guzans were completely alone because Semedo had to close inside. I believe the team was not able to to resolve this problem uh, for the whole of 90 minutes. And even when uh, Portugal was winning 1-0, even in that period, uh, Germany was, was stronger and I, I could never feel, even winning 1-0, I could never feel that we were going to... Um, to win the game i couldn't i could never feel that and there is some point that people in portugal talks a lot about it which is how can you play a game like that and make five falls in in 90 minutes uh, which showed clearly that there was no no aggression but i believe that no aggression because there was not even close contacts with players we never controlled their dynamic so last 20 minutes uh, for one uh, they made some changes portugal made some changes to improve the team and then in the end the 4-2 leave us in a position where uh, by goal leverage uh, because of the victory 3-0 against uh, hungary by by that goal leverage even with three points i believe that we are going to qualify so the game against france is not that game where uh, we are desperate to get a, a victory or, or even a point because I believe that we are going to, to qualify by, by goal average even one with one defeat against France. But Portugal can also get points against France because Portugal at, at this, its highest level. Portugal can beat anyone, but we also need to play with, uh, with 11 players. And uh, in these two matches, Bruno Fernandes was, was on the pitch but not playing. And uh, we need the good players to perform and not to be on the pitch. Tell us a bit more about that, Jose. Sorry, about Bruno Fernandes, because the criticism in the past has been that he doesn't turn up for, for big games. There's a few people that would, that would level that at him during his uh, time at Manchester United as well. What do you think? I hope he turns up against France um, because he's a player with an incredible uh, potential and uh, he can pass, he can score. He can get penalties, he can score penalties, he can score free kicks. Um, he has a lot to give, but the reality is that in these, in these two matches, he was, uh, he was not there. And Portugal has three fantastic uh, attacking players. Bernardo Silva, Cristiano, Jota, they are uh, three very good players. We need that, that connection. And um, until now, Bruno is not, um, is not playing. But the reality, yeah, and, and I told you, uh, when um, I went to the um, to the building for the first time and we spoke for the first time about about the Euros, I told immediately that I, I believe that Portugal can win the Euros, mm. but I also believe that Portugal can be out in the group phase. I knew that would always going to be difficult. In this moment, I don't think they are going to be out. Uh, when I look to the to the mats and. Um, I think that even with three points, because of the positive goal average, if we don't lose against France by more than, than one goal, we would always qualify. So I'm a bit relaxed about it. Someone who has shown up in this tournament again is obviously Cristiano Ronaldo. Three goals already. He's 36 years old. I mean, how long do you think he can keep playing at this level? You know, physically, physically is very fit, of course. He changed his, uh, his game. He's not, uh, of course, the winger anymore. Uh, he's not even the winger that uh, has freedom to come uh, inside. He's clearly now 
and number nine. So he reduces his his runs, he reduces his individual actions. He is very, of course, very clever in the way he manages his, his game and his energy. He's a finisher. He has two chances to score one or two goals. Um, and of course, he's still very, very fit to use his power like in the first uh, in the first goal. So still a very important player for us.